Hey everybody, I wanted to make a really quick video here because I wanted to talk about a video I released last week. Now if you haven't seen it, I released an episode of Positives that pretty much talks about Grand Theft Auto for the Game Boy exclusively. What I forgot to mention was that there were two other games also released for the Game Boy and the Game Boy Advance. The first one being Grand Theft Auto 2, which was released for the original Game Boy Color and based off of Grand Theft Auto 2 for the PC. Very much like Grand Theft Auto 1 on the Game Boy, it has a lot of the same limitations, but they really worked hard on putting more crowds in the game and a lot more vehicles and traffic. It gives you a bit of a larger experience that you probably wouldn't be expecting, and in fact does the Grand Theft Auto series a little bit more justice than the first game. It's a pretty fun game and you should seek it out and give it a shot. There was also another Grand Theft Auto release called Grand Theft Auto Advance for the Game Boy Advance. Now this is kind of special because Grand Theft Auto Advance actually includes some features that you kind of don't see in any other version of Grand Theft Auto, that is until they started using 3D engines in the games. Now Grand Theft Auto Advance looks very similar to Grand Theft Auto 2 on the PC, but the funny thing is, the actual vehicles in this game are not just 2D sprites like in Grand Theft Auto 2. In this game, they seem to have a little bit of weight and momentum to them. Now what I mean by that is, if you take a hard turn left or right, you'll see that your vehicle actually sways a little bit and it reveals the sides of the cars. It's kind of a different look that you're not used to seeing if you're a fan of the other Grand Theft Autos. Another cool thing that this game does, which is unique to the Grand Theft Auto top-down perspective series, is that if you take a car and drive really fast and ram another car on its side, it will actually flip over. That seems kind of frivolous now because you're used to seeing that kind of stuff happen in 3D Grand Theft Auto titles, but back when they made this game, that must have been kind of difficult to do. Anyway, they're both interesting games, very much like the first Grand Theft Auto on Game Boy, and they're worth you trying out. So if you're out there hunting for video games and you happen to come across any of these titles, you should pick them up and give them a shot. You'll probably be pretty impressed.